August 9th, Wednesday, 1893. Ever since I talked to Charlotte about her tutor, she's been working harder and seeing Mr. Blackwood less often outside of Tuesdays and Thursdays, though she seems to be unconscious about these patterns. It's like, in the back of her mind, she's trying to make up for her feelings or punish herself. She has a habit of doing that. Well, today, after she had been in my office before, I entered and continued to work when I would leave. I suggested the two of us had a little break together. We got situated on the love seat together, and with some tea and cake in front of us. But I couldn't help but notice how much the girl kept yawning. I offered her my arm to rest against, and she showed no reluctance to take me up on it. She leaned her face more into my chest instead of my initial offering. So I just held her by wrapping my arms around her instead. Within a span of a minute, Charlotte had dozed off into a slumber, and I allowed the young woman the luxury. Charlotte seemed to suffer from insomnia since a rather young age, and started her fits of sleepwalking shortly after her mother passed, so I was understanding that she hardly got nights with restful sleeps. However, despite the tender and endearing moments in front of me, a vile vermin decided to insert itself into the situation. A rat ever so casually hopped onto the table in front of us and seemed to stare at Charlotte. I felt myself hold back the urge to yell at the disgusting thing and kill it there, but I didn't want to wake my daughter. It cleans its whiskers and then scurries off without much more action. I must be sure to have Terrell and the maids keep an eye out for holes in the walls.